I am just now leaving Vanita, and we have been looking at John 14, focusing in on verse number 6, but then leading up to it, and really tying in with not only uh, individual ministries, what I mean by that is, is the call that God has put on your life, on their lives, the call that God has put on my life, and then understanding what that call is, and then running your race, getting on that path, uh, running, running your course, and uh, and uh, looking forward to hearing these words: "Well done, thou good and faithful servant." And so we were looking at the up. Uh, uh, verses ahead of verse number 6, uh, John 14, Jesus said, You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. In other words, I'm not lying to you. I'm not uh, telling you something that is not true. And he said, uh, If I go which he did. He said, if I go, I'm going to come back and I'm going to take you to where I am. And so we look forward to that day when Jesus returns. We meet him in the air and he takes us to heaven. Well, now this is uh, the, new, the new year, 2020. And I have been looking myself at being more focused in the vision that God has put into my life and uh, what He wants me to do specifically. And I've been sharing uh, that, uh, that concept. I haven't been sharing specifically what God has been uh, asking me to do, but I've been bringing before the residents what has God called each and every one of them to do? And, and I, I continue to tell them, as long as they are breathing, God still has a plan and a purpose for their lives. And run your race. You know, when you get close uh, to that finish line, uh, I, I uh, talk about athletes and... Uh, uh, those who are Olympians, those who go to maybe national or international events, those who uh, even are, are maybe uh, running track in their local school. When you, when you round that final turn and uh, you see the finish line, you don't slow down. You have been training for this. You've been working for this. And when you see that final finish line, you don't slow down, you press in. You become more determined, you become stronger uh, in, in, in wanting to cross that finish line as strong as possible. You're probably not as strong as you were when you started that race. And it's going to take everything you've got to cross that finish line and cross it strong. But that's what you want to do. And that's what we do in life. When we begin to see that finish line, we, we press in. We, we cross it strong. And we hear these words, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Oh, my goodness. That's what I want to do. And so, in my own life, I've been pressing in. And I've been asking, God, what do you want me to do? You know, several years ago, I uh, had, had just rededicated my life to the Lord. said, Lord, I'll, I'll go wherever you want me to go. I'll do whatever you want me to do. And God said, can you? can you? And I knew he was being kind, 
but evidently there were some things that he wanted me to do that I was not able to do physically. And so I realized, you know, something that I need to do is just get myself in better shape so that I can run the race that God wants me to run. You know, if your body can't get you to where God wants you to go, you can't go. And so I decided I would uh, do some things that, that I could do, that I felt like I needed to do, to get myself in better shape. And so this year I've been saying, Lord, what do you want me to do? Well, I've been going to nursing homes, continue to do that. And uh, one of the things that I had done to help myself get in better shape is to get back on my bicycle and start to pedal a little bit, you know, get my heart going, get my body going, get cardiovascular fit. And so last year, now it's taken me a few years to do this, but last year I rode over 5,800 miles. And I thought, you know what? That was not easy. But it was fun. And, and, and having that knowledge and knowing that uh, I'm in the best shape of my life. Strong heart, strong cardiovascular system. And so along that path, along that physical path of riding my bike on the trails, I noticed homeless. And over a period of time, I began to realize that that's the very thing that God wanted me to do, is to minister to the homeless. But I was going to have to work at it a little bit, just in my own self, just to get myself to the place where I could actually get out there and do that. And so, uh, toward the end of last year, last summer, and, and on into this year, I'm doing a little more ministry to the homeless helping them, finding those people that uh, maybe know the Lord, you know, specifically, finding some of these people that, that know the Lord, but through circumstances or situations, they found themselves alone, uh, homeless. They, they found themselves in a dark place. And they could use a little help to just get back on track. Get back. They, they know what God's called them to do, but how do I get there? See? And help them get back on track. Well, so, so then I, I, I'm doing that. Then also, you see, the need to help children. Children that are in, in uh, uh, homes. Children's homes. They they uh, are looking for a family, or they're they're looking for someone to take them in, care for them. And they could use a little joy. They could they could use a little something to encourage them. Maybe a, somebody like a grandpa that could uh, come and minister to them, help them along somebody that could love them and care for them. And so I'm going to be starting to go to some children's orphanages and some areas like that. And see, just, just being a little more what I have been referring it to as laser-focused. Laser-focused. Getting more and more focused on what God has called me to do and then doing whatever it takes. See, that's, that's my desire. And that's my desire for everyone that listens to this. Not only am I going out and helping those who need help to get into the family of God and then get on track. See, do the work of the Lord. Find out what God has called you to do and then do everything that you know to do to make that happen. Be called of the Lord, you see. Have that laser focus in 2020 
Uh, I know just the, the service that I just uh, am driving away from right now in, in uh, uh, yeah, where was I? Venita. I was thinking of I am, but I wasn't in Vianne, I was in Venita. And closing with a prayer, rededicating ourselves to the Lord. As close as you've been, you can always get closer. You can always find a way to get closer. And then we finished off that service by singing, What a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. So I would encourage you, if you're on that path, continue Continue that path. Run your race for God. Hear these words, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. And if you're not on that path, if you don't even know what I'm talking about, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except by me, by Jesus. John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him, believeth in Jesus, should not perish, but have everlasting life. I'd like to lead you in a prayer. Father, we just come to you in the name of Jesus. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I thank you that you were willing to go to the cross, that believing in you, I might have life and have an abundant, everlasting life. Father, I come to you now in the name of Jesus. I confess Jesus as my Lord and Savior. You said in your word that if I did that, if I would confess him as my Lord and Savior, believe in my heart that you raised Jesus from the dead. Your word says that I would be saved. And so I believe right now that I'm saved. I thank you that I'm in the family of God. I want to get on that path, that path that you have for me. Lord, I ask you to make it clear, to share with me. Help me to have an open mind to be able to run my race, get on that path, and do what you've called me to do. Thank you, Father. I'm so thankful that I can call you my Father. And I pray all these things in the name of my Savior and my Lord, Jesus Christ. Now, welcome to the family of God. And if you're not in a church, or if you're not in a church that believes the full Bible, <laughs> believes the Gospel, Find a good Bible-believing church. Be regular in your attendance. And then run your race 